The leaves turn a lovely colour in the autumn, but they don't half make a job for me to clear them up. Hello, Little Red Tractor. Hi, Stan. Hello, you two. Are you and Little Red Tractor doing anything when you've finished? We've got nothing planned. Oh. <laughs> oh, Patch. Poor old Patch. When he was a youngster, he'd have been off chasing that leaf like a mad thing. He used to love chasing leaves. These days he can't be bothered. How do you two fancy a bit of a chase? What? Like tag, you mean? You're on. A bit better than tag. You're it. A paper chase. A paper chase? I said you're... What's a paper chase? It's like a sort of treasure hunt. Someone leaves a trail of paper and then everyone follows it. And when they catch up with the person who's left the paper trail, they get a surprise. That sounds brilliant. What's a surprise? Well, if I told you that, it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? So, do you fancy a paper chase? Cool, yeah. You bet. I think Little Red Tractor and I had better leave the paper trail. <laughs> and perhaps we could do with a few more chasers. Shall we go and see if Thomas and Leo are around? Yeah, let's. No, it's just a quick trip to Babelbrook, Thomas. There'll be no stopping for sweets and ice cream and whatnot. No, Uncle Jasper. Straight there and straight back. I need to get these leaves cleared up. Yes, Uncle Jasper. Ah, Stan. Yeah. Sorry, can't stop. I'm just off to Babelbrook. I hadn't actually come to see you. But if you haven't come to see me, what are you doing here? Mr Jones, can Thomas come and play? Of course he can. Off you pop, Thomas. I... I, I mean, um, off you go, if you want to. See you later, Uncle Jasper. Yes! <laughs> See you later. There. Just tighten that down and there. That will do it. Shouldn't you tighten that plug a bit? <laughs> Sounds like Walter's here anyway. I said that plug needed tightening. Yeah, I... Uh... Oh! Hello, you lot. We're going to go on a paper chase, and we thought Leo might want to come too. Oh, yeah. A paper chase? Woo woo! I've not been on a paper chase since, um, well, since, uh, since. I've never been on a paper chase. Well, now's your chance, Walter. How about joining us? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Blooming leaves. Same thing every autumn. Turn brown, drop off the trees, and then Elsie gets me sweeping them all up. <sighs> Hello, little stump you. Elsie got you hard at it, I see. <laughs> yeah, I've been sweeping for ages and the wind keeps blowing my pile about. Oh, well, there are easier ways of dealing with leaves than sweeping them, you know. Cheerio! Like what? Oh! Right, count to a hundred. That'll give us a head start, OK? Yeah! Okay. Yes, yeah. And make sure you collect all the paper on the way. We don't want to leave litter all over the place. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go. <laughs> no more back-breaking, leaf-sweeping misery for me. Not with this little beauty. Ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six. Seven, eight, nine hundred. Let's go. Yay! Here we go. Sounds like Mr. Jones has got a new toy. Hello, Mr. Jones. Ah, ah, works like a dream. I'll have the old place cleared in no time. Oh, look at that. Litter bugs get everywhere. Still, I expect this little beauty works on paper just as well as leaves. This way. Here's another piece. I think they should have left at the road. There. Yeah. A job well done. The trail seems to stop here. So which way did they go? Maybe Stan ran out of paper. Or maybe they went this way. Here, yeah, look. Tractor tyre marks. Maybe Stan was just making it a little bit more tricky for us. <laughs> Wait till we catch up with him. Come on! There. Now all we have to do is wait for the chasers to catch us and then we can give them their surprise. I'll go and get the barbecue out. We can have a party. Are you sure they're 
they came this way. Well, no, but we've come in a pretty straight line. So that wouldn't change course without leaving something for us to follow. No sign of any paper? Nah, not a sausage. Here, I could do with a sausage. I'm getting a bit peckish, I am. <laughs> so we carry straight on, then? I suppose so. Hmm, it's getting late. I'd have thought they'd have been here by now. Evening, Stan. Nice day for it. Barbecue. That we were having... <coughs> Good. Like a barbecue. Nice baked potato. In foil. <coughs> Burgers, too, and a sausage. Kids here. Ryan, Amy. Time to get them home. Uh, yeah. Uh, but, uh, uh, no. They're not. I mean, they should be, though. Not here? Oh, I thought they were. I thought you were keeping an eye on them. We went on a paper chase. They should have been back by now, but don't worry, Mr Turvey. Walter's with them. I'm sure they're safe wherever they are. <coughs> Walter, eh? Good bloke. They'll be all right with him. <coughs> Any chance of a bite to eat while we're waiting? Potato or something? But I should... Hello, Stan. Have fun with the nippers, did you? Uh, quite glad to get Thomas out from under my feet for five minutes. I was able to get all my leaves cleared up. Got a pretty nifty new machine for the job. Oh, so that's what I heard. It doesn't just work on leaves. Why, some thoughtless idiot had left a load of paper outside Beach Farm. It would have taken me ages to clean it all up if it hadn't been for my new leaf vacuum. Oh, no. What? What is it? You got rid of the paper? Well, yes. I don't want a load of litter outside my farm. What would people think? Oh, Mr Jones, that was a paper trail. We were having a paper chase. The kids were picking it all up. Ooh, no paper, no kids. We'd better go and look for them. Still no sign of any paper? No. Uh, and you'll know where we are? Tawny Owl Wood, of course. I know it's Tawny Owl Wood, but where in Tawny Owl Wood? We're lost. We're not lost. You see, we came in over there. Uh, no, um, over there. No, no, that's not right. That's, um, the, um... We're lost. They could be any... Hang on. Over there. It looks like they went that way. The trail will have gone cold here after Mr Jones cleared up all the paper. Maybe they thought those tracks were yours, little red tractor. OK, kids, here's what we'll do. It's too dark to carry on now, so we just have to make ourselves comfortable here. And then, in the morning, I'll climb a tree and try to find out just where we are. And I'll tell you what, we'll sing a song to keep our spirits up, all right? A well, a well, a well, a ay, mama luba, a ding a dang a doo Goodbye, my little eye, something beginning with T. Twig? No tree. So, no singing then? Trousers! No. I wonder, could they have gone into the wood? Well, if they have, it'll be hard to find them. But maybe they could find us if we make a bit of noise. Hello there! Walter! Amy! Ryan! Uh, 10p? T no. T um, T tractor! Tractor? Huh? I can't see a tractor. No! I meant I think I heard one. This is a tractor! I think it's going from over there. OK, let's all join hands. We don't want anyone getting lost. But we are lost. Not anymore. Little tractor's found us. Stan, <laughs> you found us. us. <laughs> Good to see you, Stan. But what happened to the paper trail? Mr Jones might be able to help you with that one. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this was a surprise worth waiting for, Stan. I'm starving. Well, I'm glad that everything worked out in the end. Thanks to you and Literary Tractor. Yeah! Stumpy? Stumpy? Hi, Elsie. Is Stumpy around? Oh, 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 he's around all right. He's supposed to be working, but he's nipped off to his den. <laughs> Brian and Amy have just gone round to find him. Hi, Stumpy. Mm, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hello, you two. What a great den. What are you doing here? Oh, this and that, you know. <laughs> I actually do most of my thinking in here. Sleeping more like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe we should make our own den. Yes! There are times when we all need a quiet place to ourselves. Stan! Stumpy's got a den! Has he now? 
Yeah, he does this and that in it. Oh, he does not a lot in it, if you ask me. <laughs> We're going to make our own den. Will you and Little Red try to help us? No problem. I'll just get this corn unloaded. Well, it's, um, it, it's the weather, you see. People love walking about the countryside in the sunny weather. Footpaths, Walter. Eh? If they stick to the footpaths, there's no problem. Footpaths for ramblers, my land for, well, for me. Well, why don't you put up a few signs, you know, keep out, that sort of thing. Signs are no use. A patrol should do it and chase them off. Come on, Big Blue. Cheerio. Oh, sure, yeah. How about here? Perfect place for a den, if you ask me. Uh, it's nice and sunny, but it's a bit, you know... Opal. We want somewhere more hidden away, really. Oh, OK, then. We'll find somewhere else. How about there? Too shady. This any better? Sorry, too damp. Any good? Too sunny. Well, I can only think of one more place. Come on, you ramblers, show your faces. <sighs> hmm. No sign of them here, Big Blue. Let's try over on the other side. This is great! Really? This is perfect! Brilliant! <laughs> We're going to need rugs and cushions and things to make it more cosy. Why don't you ask around? I'm sure people will let you have a few things. OK, but we mustn't tell anyone what the things are for. Mustn't we? No, it's a secret den. We can keep a secret, can't we, little red tractor? <laughs> Stare. Seen any? Morning, Mr. Jones. Can't say I have, no. On patrol. Can't be too careful, can you? And what have you two got in there? Nothing. Just a few things. We're throwing them away. Good for you. Out with the old, in with the new. That's what I always say. See you later. Out with the old? Good thing some of us don't think like that, isn't it, little red tractor? <laughs> There you go. What are you going to do with it? It's a secret, Nicola. Oh, right. Sorry, no problem. Hello there. What's that old rug for, then? We're not to ask, Dad. It's a secret. A secret, eh? Well, I can keep a secret. Thanks for helping us. It's really good. We'll leave you to it, then. Be in the yard if you need us. Come on. Not a rambler to be seen, Big Blue. Must know we're looking for them. Come on, then. Time to start some proper work. <laughs> ah Ramblers, Big Blue! Straight ahead, just as I thought. They do look a bit strange, though. We'd better warn Stair. Whoa! Mr. Jones, do you think he spotted the den? I don't think so. He might have seen us, but he won't have seen the den. Whoa! <laughs> You've got ramblers, Stan. Ramblers? Ramblers, strange people running about in strange clothes. Cloaks, shawls, that kind of thing. Cloaks and shawls? Oh, yes, I know who you mean. You do? Yes, they're, um, some people up from the village. Badger watchers. They're looking for badger sets. Well, they're not going to find any the way they're carrying on, shrieking and hollering. Got any more crates, Stan? Oh, oh hello, Mr Jones. Uh, you know, for throwing away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know where all this rubbish comes from. 
Just when things were going so well. Hold on. What's that rubbish doing there? Someone's been dumping rubbish on Stan's land. Or what is the world coming to? Come on, Rusty. Better go tell Stan the bad news. I wouldn't let them on my land. They're pests, trampling all over the crops. Here, Stan! You're not going to believe this, but someone's been dumping rubbish in the corner of Top Acre. Probably your badger people. Badger people? That's terrible, Walter. Thanks for telling me. I've got to go over to Stumpy's in a minute. I'll take a look. While you're at it, you'd better make sure those badger people aren't still raving about up there. I'll do that too. See you. Phew. Not easy keeping something a secret round here. It won't be long, Elsie. Just go to tell Stan his flare is ready. Why he can't use a phone like normal people, I'll never know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hello again. Nice place you got here. It was. Everyone all right? Oh, yes, thanks. <laughs> you do look silly, Stumpy. Honestly, this is supposed to be a secret, Dan. <laughs> Not much of a secret. Oh, you know what you can do? What? Stop trying to keep it a secret and have a grand opening. I bet everyone will leave you alone after that. Really? It worked for me. Elsie's never been to my den since the grand opening. Sounds like a good idea. I'll run round and spread the word. And while you two put the den back to rights, Little Red Tractor and I will fetch some drinks and biscuits. What do you say? You're, You're on. on. <laughs> Nearly ready. Well, I hope you've got a door to your den. Keep those badger people out. <laughs> hmm. Good point, Mr. Jones. Oh! What if they're in there already? Oh, no! I'll get them! Oh, they wouldn't dare go into... The ha ha a badger! It's OK, Mr. Jones. It's me. Ah, what? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Yes, of course, it's, it's you. Oh, no. Afraid I misled you earlier. I was trying to keep a secret. There are no badger watchers round here. It was Ryan and Amy all along. We were getting stuff for our den. Hmm. Oh, yes, 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 I knew that. Yes, I was in on the joke too. Just playing along, you see. <laughs> there. Ready? Yep. We now, now declare, declare our secret den open! <laughs> there you go. That's your trailer attached. First on our list of jobs to do today is to check on the sheep. Ready? That's strange. I can't see the sheep anywhere. Well, come on, we'd better investigate. This is unlike them. I've never seen them all gather at this end of the field before. Maybe something has frightened them. Could be a stray dog. Let's check the hedges for any gaps. What was that? There's something there. I can hear it. Wait. I can see something. Oh, it's only a rabbit. Come on, let's look further up. Morning, Stan. Hi there, Mr. Turvey. I'm on the lookout for a stray dog. I can't say I've seen one and I've jogged the full length of the lane. I had to do another lap, so I'll keep the old eyes peeled. What do you want a dog for? Thought you had a dog. What's his name? Uh, thingy. Patch. Patch, that's it. Patch the dog. Uh, yes. But it's just that something has been frightening my sheep. 
can't think what it could be except for a stray dog. Yeah, well, there is one new animal in the neighbourhood. It's quite something. Really? What? A llama. Mr Jones got a new llama. A llama? A llama. Big white thing. Looks like a camel. Well, not a camel, but you know. Hmm. I wonder why Mr Jones would want a llama. <laughs> Search me. Well, must run. Got to keep burning off the calories. See you. Come on, little red tractor. Let's finish checking these hedges. Ho, 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 ho. Wait till Stan sees the new addition to my farm. He will be so jealous. <laughs> Hello, Llama. It's only me. Nice Mr. Jones. Now, how would Llama like a nice brushy-washy, then? There we go. Nice Llama. Oops, a dizzy. Just a little tangle. Maybe if I brush a little harder. There, there, nearly done. What did you do that for? Hello? Up here, Stumpy! What are you doing up there? My llama attacked me! What's one of them, then? Oh, a llama is one of those! Oh, I see! <laughs> you can't be scared of this fluffy little thing! <laughs> be careful, Stumpy! He could attack at any moment! Hello, little chap. Oh, you're a cute one, aren't you? <laughs> He seems very friendly to me. Could you perhaps part with the llama for long enough to get me down? I'll have to call Stan. I don't have a ladder, see? Oh, I am going to look like such a fool. Looks like a stray dog may have got through the hedge here. We'd better get this gap blocked up. Hello? Hi, Stumpy. Mr Jones? Stuck up a tree? I'll go fetch my ladder. We'll be right over. Come on, little red tractor. We have to go and rescue Mr Jones. Oh, thank you, Stan. Thank you, little red tractor. So this llama of yours attacked you? Yes. I was giving his coat a brush and he spat at me. From what I know, llamas don't usually do that. And there's more. He then kicked me into this tree. I was told he was tame, but I think he's wild. I suggest you wash him down first. It'll be a lot easier to groom him when his coat is wet. Well, that's a good point. I always find it easier to groom my hair when it's wet. I see. Well, thank you all for your help, but I am sure I'll be fine now. Well, we have to get back and fix a hedge in Middlefield. Let me know if you need anything else. Now then, nice llama, it seems we got off to a bad start. So, how about a nice little washy poo, hmm? Ah, oh, that water has come out far too fast. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, not again. Nearly a whole trip around the block without a breakdown. I say, Walter! Rusty, you can speak. Not the car, you fool! Mr. Jones? Up here! Oh, hi there! Oh, nice day for a bit of tree climbing. Quite, but I am not tree climbing, I am stuck. Could you help me get down? No ladder, I'm afraid. Tell you what, I'll give Stan a ring. Oh, no. Well, look a year. A llama. Hello, boy. You're a lovely-looking fella. Be careful. He's wild. Oh, you're not scared of a llama. He's so cute. Look at his little face. Walter, how about getting me down? Uh, yeah, excuse me for a moment. I need to call Stan. Oh, you'll like him. They've already met. I hope that'll keep the sheep safe. The trouble is we can't be here all the time to keep an eye on them. Hello? Hello, Walter. Really? I see. We're on our way. You're not going to believe it, little red tractor. 
We have to go and rescue Mr Jones. Again! Come on, let's go! I was trying to dampen his coat before I groomed him, but the water came out too fast. Came out too fast? Yes, the hose, you see, it was set to jet wash. Why didn't you use a bucket? No wonder the poor thing was upset. Look, Stan, I think you're right. I, I, I really don't know how to look after him. Everything I do seems to upset him, and yet he loves everyone else. I may have an idea that helps us both. How about I take the llama? You would? What do you need a llama for, Stan? Something has been worrying my sheep. Llamas make great guard animals, so I could keep him in middle field to look after the flock. The question is, how to get him over there? I have a horse box, Stan. You could use that. Little Red Tractor, are you up for towing the llama over to middle field? <laughs> oh, Stan, thank you. If there's anything I can do... Well, actually, you could tell me and Rusty back to the garage. Oh, very well. Seems like you've found a new friend, Little Red Tractor. Hi, Stumpy. Hello, Stan. I just popped by to see how the llama's settling in. He's doing fine. He seems to like his new home. The sheep absolutely love him. And Little Red Tractor has made friends, too. Welcome to Gosling Farm. <laughs> Are you going to give him a name? Hmm, good idea. What about Larry? Oh, he likes that. <laughs> Welcome, Larry. Just thought I'd drop by and see how the little chap is settling in. As you can see, he's fine. Why not come and say hello? <clears throat> hello, Llama. His name's Larry. Uh, um... Hello, Larry. Oh, come on. He's not going to bite. <laughs> he hates me! <gasps> oh, no. no, Kitty! There, there. You're OK. Where did Mr Jones go? I'm not sure. Can anyone help me down? <laughs> oh, dear. Looks like we're going to need the ladder again. <laughs> Ho, 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 ho.